All right, so we're back here again. Um, about a week ago, we did a bunch of uh, mulching with a, a company in the area called SPM Services, a friend of mine um, named Shane. And I'll put the uh, information for his YouTube channel down in the comments. But um, anyway, so one of the things we wanted to accomplish was, uh, again, I have the SVL 75 Kubota. As you guys see here, um, that's my SC2072 grapple. I'm a big fan of the root grapple style versus the log grapple, standard grapple style. As far as picking up little stuff, I think it's way easier. But back to the point. So um, I bought a Loftness L-Series mulcher. Um, talking with my local Kubota dealer. Uh, up in Brunswick, Georgia, a Sapelo equipment. Um, we didn't really have a ton of information on this. They kind of like the the brush cutter, so I decided to make some videos with it. Well, in the process of that, I was talking to my buddy Shane, who runs a T595 um, with a Fecon head, and we said, let's put these things head to head and see what they do. Um, so I'll let you guys kind of be the judge of what you think that they the uh, output the one thing i'll say is um, each of them had their benefits um, so what you're going to see is that the fecon head hits harder so it runs a standard size mulch tooth whereas the loftness head and we'll walk over here the loftness head runs a smaller tooth on it so while he has less big teeth I have 38 small teeth on this loftness head of mine. Um, so one big thing that you should look at is when we um, show the clip of us taking the bigger trees down and working the stump. Um, look at the output of working that stump. Um, for the loftness head, you're going to see sawdust. Um, for the Fecon head, you're going to see it hits a little harder. You get a little bit of particles coming off of that um, as far as wood chunks that you're going to have to go back and clean up later. So here's the, the tooth set up, right? Um, there's not a very good one sitting on the ground here, but here's my hand, right, as far as kind of getting an idea of what size tooth is on there. Um, as you can see, it's a double-sided tooth, right? You can run a quadco on this machine if you wanted to but um, the benefits to this thing are uh, this head weighs 1200 pounds and we checked it a few times as we were out there working that day and it will go from a dead stop to full rpms in a couple of seconds say three um, as opposed to that fecon which has a full size drum on it that you would find on any of their heads and it takes a lot longer to spool up so that being said uh, i'm going to jump to the footage we took last week and let you guys take a look at it um, again if you guys like this stuff you know subscribe uh, hit the hit the bell to get notifications and uh, leave comments tell me what you guys want to see and we'll keep pumping out videos
damn clever The things we talk about when we get together Some like to dance, some like to sing Some spend the whole day laughing the clouds away A bowling for dollars The art museum, prehistoric dinosaurs Love to see them, a movie, a bike ride, a long walk Staying up late, having late night talks All of my friends Adventures and surprises I love and colonize my friends All of my friends I help at the class I talk about All of my friends 